wait, sort of over here. Just hang here. Let him come down. Don't worry. How you doing? Good. Neve. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Um, Brian. Brian. Uh, hi, this is Jen. Hi. And uh, we brought her from Iowa, just like I said we would. It comes as a bit of a shock, I think, for Jen and also us, is that you're not the guy that we saw in the pictures and your name's also not Skylar. Right. Yeah, I basically um, pretended to be Skylar. Because I never wanted it to reach that point where she would know who I am. So l let me just get this straight. So do you have true feelings for Jennifer? I don't have any like emotional feelings towards her. I would never be able to have like a, a romantic relationship with her. Then why the f are we here? Well, she's actually not the only girl I, like, I spoke to and felt like out of all the girls, this is like the perfect time, this is the perfect girl to, to finally come clean to and end like Skylar. What are you ever hoping to gain from all of these half-true friendships that you have online? What, what's the point? I wanted to like brush up my game and this is just something I do. You understand this all makes you look like a huge right? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't really give a that you wanted to come clean and set the story straight for all the other girls that you're being a to. Why did I bring this awesome, amazing girl from Iowa so that you could clear your conscience? Because I feel like it's good for her to finally know the, tr the truth. And you, you could have told her that on the phone though, right? Yeah, but in a way I wanted to end Skylar and I feel like by telling Jen who I am, like that ends Skylar. Right, but that's all about you. That's you taking care of your business and not really caring about how that's affecting someone else. It's kind of selfish. Yeah, a little bit. I don't really care anymore. First of all, I'm really impressed at how well you're handling this. So you're literally fishing and hooking girls, and then just kind of tossing them back into the ocean with scars. I would just, yeah, I would stop speaking to them. But are you sorry? Or do you feel like you kind of didn't do anything wrong here? I don't know if I'm sorry, but it is it is what it is. And I was giving her like a gift of being in that, that relationship. You were giving her a gift? Yeah, I, I mean, she was happy. And, I know I was leading her on, but I knew it would never be permanent. You told us on the phone that you had real feelings for her and wanted to see where this would go. And, and then you just kind of come out here and just straight up are like, I had no emotional feelings, that's what you said. Yeah. Which is not what you told us on the phone. Yeah. I think you gotta take a hard look in the mirror and ask yourself what you're doing. It just seems really shallow that you would lead these girls on to brush up on your game. I guess it could, it could seem that way, yeah. You're gonna have a shallow, miserable existence and people are gonna think you're a douchebag. I guess I just don't understand like what he was saying with how he was trying to like brush up on his game or whatever. You've got an opportunity now on behalf of all the girls that this guy's been playing with to tell him exactly how you feel about him. I encourage you to consider that. Okay. I thought you liked me. And apparently these other girls thought that you liked them too. And you didn't consider how I felt. And you lied to them. And you're wasting all of this time. And you're wasting my time. Why did you even come down? I wanted to come clean to you face to face. 
but w did you want to come clean to me or did you just want to feel better about yourself? I wanted to come clean to you because I felt like you were, you were special. You have a cool personality, you're different than most girls. So you picked the coolest girl to reveal how much of a you were. It's more of a move to lie. But are you even admitting the fact that you're a or are you just saying it because all these people are looking at you? No, I felt like it's the best thing to come clean to you. I don't even know if I believe that. Did you consider the fact that I did like you? No, I didn't. I wasn't as um, concerned about your feelings. By successfully avoiding being yourself with the handful of girls that you talk to on the internet, you've now revealed yourself to basically women around the world for being you know, exactly who you are. It's not a good portrait. Once it reached its peak, I would be gone. I wouldn't drag exactly. it on. Exactly. Where Two, would I be? Where would I be? You have a sense of self-confidence. I knew that about her. I knew that she would be stable. How did you know? What you've done is cruel. Do you get that? No. You don't get it. Doesn't matter how much I stand here, and you really don't get it. You've done an incredible job of being honest, holding true to who you are. He's a mess. That's gonna be frustrating, you're gonna feel anger and the resentment for him, but that's okay. All that matters is that you did what was right and true for you. And the example that you're gonna set and the people you're gonna help through this makes it totally worth it. Let's get the out of here. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on!